Oh boy, Croatia, they proved me wrong, really, really proved me wrong. This is a team who I predicted to flop at the 2018 World Cup in Group D, which is my group of death. Argentina, Iceland, Nigeria, Croatia in this group, but Croatia is the first team from the group to book their place into the round of 16 when they spanked, spanked, spanked Argentina. Three goals to nil. I actually predicted a draw for this match. Two goals to two, you know, a really, really feisty draw. I was expecting a contest here today, but it was just a total walk over by Croatia. What a match. This has to be one of the best matches so far at the 2018 World Cup. Croatia, you prove me wrong again, again, again. Just like Mexico proved me wrong, defeated Germany, and they're looking to, you know, <clears throat> get into the round of 16 as well. But this is, this is the first time that Croatia are making it to the round of 16 since 1998 when they made their debut. And the three other times they qualified for the World Cup in 2002, 2006, and 2014, they got knocked out in the group stages. But what a performance by Croatia today versus... 2014 runners-up Argentina, two-time World Cup winning champions, Argentina. Wow, Lionel Messi is part of this team, guys. This is unbelievable stuff right here. Three goals to nil. Like, who could have predicted this? I know a lot of Croatians actually predicted this in the lead-up to this video, um, to this match, I mean, you know, in the prediction video that I made. But... I was like, nah, it's going to be a draw. It's going to be a draw. No way. But Argentina, they're currently stuck at one point after drawing their first match versus the debutants Iceland. A match they should have won. You know, big mistake in that match by um, Willy Caballero um, parrying the ball into the path of Finn Bogerson, who, you know, bust the net with it. And they, they drew the game 1-1, one, one, one point apiece. Croatia... They defeated Nigeria in their first match and they looked really, really good. Two, two goals to nil, you know, an own goal and a penalty by Luka Modric and they bagged three points. So they're coming into this match, you know, a big, big match against Argentina. Come on, Argentina, Messi, Messi, Sampoli, but... Sampoli made a big mistake. Big mistake. He switched up the formation from the first match. He played three at the back. I, I, I don't think he played three at the back in the first game. But he had Mercado. He had um, Otamendi and Tagliafico in the back. And he had wingbacks in um, Salvio who played. I think Salvio actually played right back in the first match. And you had Acuna over there. I'm like, what, what is going on? Then you had Mascherano. And it, it, it was like, and, and Perez, Enzo Perez. And above those guys, we had Lionel Messi and Meza, who I thought shouldn't play. And up top, the lone man, Aguero, like, I, I, I really don't know what, what kind of setup is that. I really don't know. He has so many weapons he could have deployed versus Croatia today. And he just got it totally wrong. Like, he just, like, what's up with all the changes from the Iceland match? What's up with the formation change? Like, it, it, it is just it is just terrible um, coaching to me. It, 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 it's just, I don't know. It's too rash. It's too rash. But all the praise must go to Croatia, man. They bossed the game in midfield. Luka Modric, the captain. Look, oh, my. Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> what a performance. Ivan Rakitic. Brozovic, who sat behind them. He came in, um, I think he came in for... Kramerich today, if I'm not mistaken, but um, what a game, man. Feisty, feisty physical battle between these two big sides, but Croatia is the team that prevailed. The first goal, man, Willy Caballero. What are you doing? First of all, he's a backup keeper. He has been a backup keeper for years for Manchester City and now for Chelsea, and he is the number one keeper for Argentina. Their number one keeper got injured, Sergio Romero, and he is a backup keeper for Manchester United. So, come on, come on, come on, come on. Like, like you, you, you're starting off on the wrong foot right there. But, um, 
The second goal. The f- wait, wait. I'm not even done with the first goal. What am I talking about? Um, Willy Caballero. What a stupid mistake. You know, a back pass to him. And instead of just punting the ball way up the field, he tries to be cheeky. I don't know why, but he just put it on a platter for Ante Rebic, who stuck around and hit it sweetly in the back of the net. You know, really good technique by the um, Eintracht Frankfurt man who had a really, really good season in the Bundesliga. Who knows, he might be on his way to Bayern Munich after this performance, you know. He's a guy who I criticized. He did not have a good first game versus Nigeria, but Zlatko Dalic chose to stick with him and it paid off, it paid off. So that was the first goal. The second goal, man, I'm driving and I'm watching the game. And I'm like, I, I just exploded, guys. I just exploded. Luka, Modric, what a goal. That has to be the goal of the tournament so far, in my opinion. What a goal from outside the box. The Argentinian defenders could have closed him down. He wiggled his way through, created space, and hit it, bend it around the players. Caballero blindsided. I think, you know, he should have been in a better position to stop that ball, too. I'm going to criticize you, Caballero. And in the back of the net, two goals to nil. And in the efforts, Argentina trying to, you know, come back into the game late. You know, they were open. Croatia on the counter. Kovacic have really, really good presence of our mind to just chill and be unselfish. Passes it over to Rakitic and he gets a well-deserved goal. Like, they were really roughing up Rakitic. The game was really dirty. It was really, really feisty. And we were treated, man. We were treated. We were really, really treated, man. Croatia, thank you very much. And guys, all the Croatian fans, it's now your opportunity to tell me in your face, Dominic. Come on, come on, say it. In your face, Dominic, because I really doubted the team. They are into the round of 16. They joined Russia, Uruguay, and they joined France, who have already booked their place into the next round. So um, Argentina, they're not out of it yet. They are not out of it. Um, Nigeria and Iceland play tomorrow and they will be praying that that match end in a draw. Iceland will go up to two points. Nigeria will go up to one point and Argentina will still be in a shout. Will still be in with a shout in their final game versus the Super Eagles, which they have defeated many times at the World Cup in the past. So I think four times actually but they, they recently lost to them in the international friendly so it's not looking good for Jorge Sampoli, Lionel Messi and Argentina at all man oh my god embarrassing stuff but Croatia Croatia let's talk about Croatia again they are looking good they are looking good they are looking good they are looking good no one, they, no one wants to play Croatia right now no one wants to play Croatia. And if, it, if, if um, you know, the, the, the standings remain like this, Croatia could actually meet Denmark, a team who they would, they would fancy themselves against. You know, they would fancy themselves against Denmark, man. They wouldn't want to meet France, but I think they, they, they fancy them. As it stands right now, Croatia are into the quarterfinals already because... Their match, well, then again, you know, they play Iceland, a team who they were grouped with in qualifiers and who actually seems to be getting the, 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 the better of them lately. So I can't call it yet, but it's it's shaping up really nicely for the final group matches, man. It's It really is. It really is. I can't, I can't wait till next week. It's going to be so, so tense. But guys, um, you know. I really enjoyed the match. Thank you very much, Croatia. You really put on a show. You bossed Argentina around. Lionel Messi, Mascherano, Aguero. All these guys are just staring like in disbelief. Like Croatia has put on a show for us. And they are one to watch. Potential dark horses of the 2018 World Cup. Just like they were at the 1998 event. Is it because... The year ends with an eight. It can be. It can be. It can be. But Zlatko Dalic's man. 
they are looking like they're going to do something big at the 2018 World Cup. There goes my predictions. You know, Croatia, they did not flop. They didn't flop. They, they made it to the round of 16. And I would like to say congratulations to them. For real. For real. But guys, um, I'm driving right now. So before I get pulled over and get a ticket, you know, um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button. Smash the thumbs up button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Congratulations to Croatia. Argentina, man, they have been terrible, 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 terrible at the World Cup, man. Terrible. So, um, guys, until next time, peace out. Rich squad. So, tell us, what do you think about Argentina losing? Huh? Nothing. I'm morning. Cassidy. What do you think about Argentina, you know, losing this match versus Croatia? And they could get knocked out of the World Cup. What do you think about that? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> How come you don't know? But guys, peace out, man. <laughs>